people are moving out that direction because it's more affordable. But they've done the work, they've got the new roof done, they've got the rain screen, new balconies, everything like that. That is going through a massive, it's basically going to be a brand new building. So I do have some good news. It is indeed possible that you can invest close to home. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is August 23rd, which marks the 23rd day of hashtag SSSVEDA, which once again is to vlog every day in August. So if you're coming back to my channel, thank you so much for returning and watching my content. And if you're here for the first time, before we get started, go over and hit that subscribe button right over here and uh, then we'll jump into it. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about public speaking. Now at the beginning of the video, I showed you a couple different examples of some opportunities I've had to get in front of crowds, talk a little bit about my trade in real estate. Um, I really enjoy public speaking. I've been doing it now since I was about 16 years old. And it gives me an opportunity to one, share the knowledge that I've gained in my industry. It helps me position myself, one, as an expert, as well as a resource for people to go to. And at the end of the day, it allows people to, I get to see the growth that people have when they come out and speak. And I, they come to my next event and they told me what they did based on um, something they learned. So public speaking is a lot of fun. I really attribute um, my growth in public speaking to a youth group that I was a part of back when I was a kid. Um, when I was 13, I was part of the Royal Canadian Sea Cadets. And one thing, I, I still, I'm still with that program, but the one thing that that program taught me was learning how to get in front of my peer group and teach classes, speak in front of my group. And that eventually led me into public speaking when I was about 17, 18, I started talking to groups about business. One time uh, when I was young, I had a company that I was working with, it was network marketing, um, gave me a lot of experience, and I actually got in front of a crowd of over 200 people and presented the company to them. So I've gained a lot of experience over the years, and now I'm enjoying teaching real estate in front of crowds. I do a monthly meetup that I run. I'm, I've got a crowd of normally 50 people. Tonight, actually, I'm gonna be speaking at a brand new group called Young Investors that uh, Danny on my team, who you've seen in a few other videos, he's putting together tonight. And so I'm really excited. But I thought I would talk about public speaking because it's one of those things that a lot of people are very very scared of so there's research out there that has shown that public speaking is actually more, more people are actually afraid of public speaking than they are of dying in fact public speaking is the number one thing most people say they're afraid of and honestly public speaking is not that difficult when you obviously the first time you're getting up in front of a crowd you're gonna be nervous you're gonna you're gonna have things that you think might be go wrong but at the end of the day you're not going to die Whereas most people who think of public speaking actually would rather die than get up in front of a crowd, which is kind of weird. Um, but public speaking is one of those things that it's, it's a skill that you can learn. If you practice it enough, you can actually get better. And there's a number of things that you can do to get better at public speaking. First things first is just be prepared. I mean, when you're preparing a presentation, go through your slides, run through it a couple of times, make sure you've got everything there, but at the same time, as you're being prepared, don't be a perfectionist on it. If it's not 100%, it's never going to be 100%. If it's your first time getting in front of a crowd, you're always going to think something's wrong with it. And that's okay. When you get up there and you screw up, all well. It, it's not going to end you. I mean, like I said, you're not going to die if you public speak. So don't be afraid to get up there and screw up once or twice. Practice in front of a mirror or film yourself. In fact, vlogging is a great way to start doing some public speaking where you don't actually have people watching you right here and now. And you can take your time, you can delete it if you need to, things like that. So there's a lot of things you can do, but I highly recommend you start getting comfortable speaking, especially if you're in any sort of a business capacity. It's a good idea to help brand yourself as an expert in your field. So another thing you can do is go early, get to know the room you're gonna be in, You know, check the settings, make sure all the buttons work that you're gonna be clicking. If you get there and you're rushing through it, then you're gonna feel rushed the whole time and that's where you're gonna have that sense of, I'm gonna screw this up. Be early, be on time, and don't worry too much about it. Like I said, the biggest thing is, is you're, you may screw up in your first couple of times. That's fine. There's a number of groups actually that you can go to as well that can help you work on public speaking. One of those, I've never actually been to it, but is Toastmasters. I know several people who've gone through Toastmasters and swear by it when it comes to helping them get up in front of crowds and public speaking. Yes, it is a fear, but everyone can overcome fears. So if you're scared of public speaking, the best thing you can do is start small, start, get in front of a camera, start vlogging, get in front of small groups and start doing small pitches and presentations till the point that you can grow it. Now, I'm not saying every single one of us is gonna go out and stand in front of a couple hundred people and pitch something or talk something. Not everyone is meant to do that. But 
if you're in any sort of a business capacity, if you're a realtor, if you're in real estate and you're pitching to investors or you've got a business product that you're trying to pitch, you need to learn to get comfortable speaking in front of people. So that's today's video is really just guys, get out there, go start doing public speaking, make yourself comfortable with it and you'll see the world open up for you in terms of a lot of different opportunities. If you guys like this video and you thought there were some helpful tips, don't forget, throw a like on there, throw some comments below. What are some of the reasons that you're scared of public speaking? And if you haven't already done so, go down, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. In fact, I think it's going to appear right here for you to make sure you can click subscribe. And if you're doing the SSS beta challenge, once again, throw your link in the comments. I'd love to watch your videos. I'd love to network with you. And this marks day 23. So we will see you tomorrow.